In today's video, we're going over my updated level 60 Great Axe plus Warhammer combo Thor build, because axes and hammers and that. It is a PvE or PvP build. You guys can do whatever content you'd like in the game, and you'll have absolutely no problem whether you're solo or in a group, as long as it's not content that requires you to have multiple people in the game. You'll be absolutely fine. And of course, is a DPS build that absolutely smashes individual targets or AoE targets both really, really well. Starting off with attributes, any of your gear plus skill points spent, you want to get up to 249 strength and stop exactly there. You can be slightly lower if you want, but do not go over it because currently 250 to 300 is bugged, which is extremely annoying. Essentially, any great axe attack, you just stand there like a total idiot for one full second afterwards, not being able to move, which makes you extremely vulnerable in any PvE situation and a definitely any PvP situation, you just die pretty much every time. But once that is fixed, you want to go all the way to 300 strength because that ability, light and heavy attacks, gain grit, will be amazing, but it's currently not worth because you'll die trying to do anything. Uh, Constitution is, of course, the rest because we are currently specced in Warhammer and Great Axe, which is just scaling off strength. All of these are useless to us, so strength all the way for the extra survivability for the rest of your points. As for weapon skill trees, we currently have them both at level 20 max. So these are all the points I'd recommend with the current bugs in the game. I'll point a few bugs out as we go. And this is for the PvE setup. If you're PvP primarily, I'll change a few things for you as we go as well. Currently, Reap is for both situations, one of my favorite abilities. Once you have all four of these specs, you bring enemies in from 8 meters away, do a spin attack at the end, and heal for 30% of the damage dealt. Sometimes, currently it is bugged, it's supposed to work all the time, but it's probably like 30-40% of the time it works. It's a little wonk, but once they fix that, regardless, it is amazing. Uh, Execute is really, really good for doing a ton of damage in one hit. You can hit multiple enemies at once if they are um, grouped up close enough. And also, you definitely want to spec this for Grit because it takes like a full one second to do the animation. And if you get hit during any of that, it is cancelled and you have to wait like a whole 15 seconds. So definitely spec Grit. The rest of these are just kind of smaller bonuses, like a bit of haste there. 10% heals for critical hits, which doesn't always work, but once they fix that, perfect. 10% bonus critical hit damage, and then uh, feed at the bottom here. Uh, essentially, whenever you hit an enemy that's below 30% health, you get 10% uh, of that damage uh, dealt back as health. And then you got finally Bloodlust, which is the capstone, very, very helpful. 30% faster and 15% more damage when you're within 1.3 meters of an enemy. If you're AoE farming like 20 to 30 enemies, you can just run a train around them. They can't hit you because you're faster and you also do more damage. Same situation with PvP Wars. It is harder to hit you and you are doing more damage. Then over to Purple Tree, we're trying to get to Gravity Well. This one is currently bugged. Heavy pull, I usually spec it. You bring in enemies as you're doing heavy attacks. But currently, it reduces your heavy attack damage. So ignore that one. Instead, go uh, Mola's Resolve. Essentially, you get bonus stamina when you hit enemies below 50% health, which is nice. More dodges. This one is an absolute must. It gives you grit on heavy attacks and also 20% damage reduction, which is nice. Uh, grit is the greatest thing for great attack, uh, great axe attacks because they take so long. And if you get interrupted during it, it's super annoying. So definitely spec grit whenever you can find it in the street. Gravity well is amazing. Essentially, you throw it out. It brings in enemies closer to it. Perfect for AoE and um, big walls as well. Once you spec both of these, you'll get Fortify, which is 10% damage reduction. And you'll also do more damage from the burst because the gravity well will explode at the end. You get 10% bonus damage for each enemy in it. If you're AoE farming with like 30 enemies, you can pretty much take out the entire farm with just gravity well, which is awesome. And you got these two here, essentially when you're within, uh, I think it's three or more enemies, yeah, within four meters, you get 10% damage absorption and you get 10% bonus damage, which is lovely. Oh, and almost forgot, if you're PvP primarily, execute is not a great option because it takes a full one second to do the animation. And even with grit, they can usually dodge it or take you out in the meantime. So get rid of these three points instead, Put them over here. Um, charge is really, really nice for getting the heck out of a bad situation or chasing after your enemy. It's fantastic and way better for PvP situations than Execute because pretty much anyone can dodge a one second animation. As for Warhammer, I have the same setup for both PvE and PvP situations. We have Mighty Gavel to start off with and these three spec as well. That's increased damage when they're below 30% health. That is increased stamina damage, which is nice for anybody that has a shield or any defense. And then we also have increased uh, haste by 30% for three seconds once you hit somebody with the attack, which is quite nice. Gets you out of any situation. 
Um, quick recovery is some cooldowns. These are all little damage buffs. And then this one is a must have. Hard steel adds grit to all uh, heavy uh, hammer attacks. If I can even words. Same situation with the axe. If you get hit mid that animation, it is super annoying, cancels it, and can sometimes waste your cooldown. You also get 20% damage reduction, which is quite nice. Uh, Wrecking Ball, same as Gavel, is a ground slam attack. But with this one, once you have both of these spec, you actually flatten everybody on the ground within a 1.5 meter radius. Amazing for PvE. And and pvp situations and then justice for all is the capstone essentially you get a secondary attack of the ground slam with mighty gavel if you uh click it again whilst you're mid animation it'll just slam once after that which is very very nice you just double the damage of that attack then we have purple tree both of these are just damage reduction ones to get you down the tree to path of destiny which is a really nice linear wave attack which is essentially just three rings of aoe damage in front of you which is really good in wars particularly with this uh, ability as well because it stacks everybody that is hit by it now this one, I don't know if it's completely broken or has a cap that's not listed because it's supposed to reduce your cooldown by 5% for each enemy hit by the ability, but I've definitely hit at least 20 to 30 enemies in AoE farming and it doesn't fully like cool it down entirely. It definitely cools it down some, but I don't know if there's a cap or if it's broken. Let me know if you guys know, but... It's, it's worth specking, but it doesn't automatically cool it down if you hit enough people. And then we have the final one, which is regain 35% damage dealt as health when using a crowd crusher ability, which is essentially your path of destiny attack. As for gear, I'm just going to go over it briefly for you guys because it's not a perfect 600 gear score build. I have one of those separately for you guys later on once everything is kitted out perfectly. It'll be called the Ragnarok build, so keep an eye out if you're interested. But starting off with armor, I'm currently a heavy armor guy because apparently both light and medium armor bonuses are broken. So you're not getting the damage, you're not getting the bonus heals at the moment. Once they fix that, by all means, I'm usually a medium armor guy because I like that extra bit of damage and heals as well. But also the dodge is really, really nice. Light, I usually get Get taken out too quickly and heavy i'm taking the extra survivability now but i don't like the very non-existent dodge uh, as for your armor you want to have constitution and or strength bonuses as much as possible they're the only ones relevant to us and like i said as long as you're under 249 for now everything else spec constitution um, for your uh, attributes now as for your gem slots i would have anything damage reduction it depends what you usually are doing in the game whether it be an elemental type specifically just broad elemental damage or if you have physical damage reduction via an, I think it's Onyx uh, gem. I'm currently not specking those in here because I'm still trying to level up my armor to 600. So I don't think it's super necessary right now for what I'm doing. But if you are looking for gems, those would be the ones I would recommend. And then the uh, abilities at the bottom, like I said, I'm not too stressed about them at the moment because it's not a 600 um, perfect build yet. But you want to look out for anything that is increased critical hit damage. Any specific great axe or warhammer attacks are going to be absolutely perfect for you. Or anything luck based so you can keep leveling up your weapons as well. Now the shield is only for heavy armor builds. You don't want to have this if you're in medium or the light category. Because there's extra weight that gives you a very little extra armor rating. But if you're in heavy, the weight doesn't matter. So you may as well take this for the extra abilities and attributes because... Why not, pretty much? Now, currently, my jury game is extremely weak. It's just the stuff that I found along the way that was very, very helpful. You, Once you have the perfect gear and you keep leveling up your jury, you're probably into it more than I am because I've done zero jewel crafting. But you want to boost your strength, your constitution. Any luck bonuses you can find in that is really helpful for increasing your gear score, uh, grind, speed, as well as you can get bonus uh, max health or health regen, which is really, really nice as well. It's pretty much what I have across all of mine at the moment. As for weapons, we are looking for, of course, the high gear score at the moment with damage and strength constitution scaling if you have a gem slot empty slot in an onyx gem 30 percent damage against targets with full health is really really nice it's not situational based like a lot of them are increased damage when enemies are below 30 percent health when you're below a certain amount of health or at full health there's some that do bonus elemental damage which is very situational you're not getting that regularly but whenever you start a fight they're always going to be at full health so you're always going to get that bonus um from this gem in any fight at some point so that's why i'd recommend it and it's a chunky amount as well at 30 percent now the rest you don't often get a choice you kind of got to loot a lot to get the perfect one but the elemental chains are good but some are resisted by some enemies and effective against others chain fire is one i wouldn't recommend because it's actually resisted by the corrupted which is a huge enemy type in the end game so you don't want that one i'd recommend pretty much any others or lightning if you're going for the thor route 
at the bottom there again you don't usually get a choice but if you're trying to find the best one anything that gives you stamina back health regen or um life steal is really really nice you can get luck i believe correct me if i'm wrong and the best ones to get are increased damage by particular attacks of your warhammer or your great axe but again pretty difficult to get those my great axe pretty scuffed at the moment again we're trying to level uh, so the intelligence there is wasted and the gem was already slotted so i just left it there it converts 30 percent of my damage to void damage which is pretty nice because it's only resisted to my knowledge by the pirate enemies which is a pretty rare enemy at end game usually uh damage can scale off the base weapon stat being strength or intelligence but because we are a full strength um spec build it's just left in the strength scaling which is nice and the bottom two attacks same situation as the hammer you want increased light heavy attack bonuses you want life steal you want luck you want increased damage to particular ability uh, attacks for your great axe and that's pretty much the perfect thing you can get if i missed any bugs that are currently in the game or if you have any suggestions for the build i would love to hear them in the comment section if you found the video helpful smash subscribe and the like button on the way out that would be awesome much appreciated hope you guys have a fantastic day catch you guys in the next video and a live stream until then adios